new hair. Oh, yes, I love it. Okay, I'm getting in my car. Hey nerds, what's up? We are starting a vlog. I just dyed my hair, I am loving it. It's like still purpley pink because one, that's the color that I picked, but two, because I did not bleach my hair or anything under it. So definitely has like pinker tones than I anticipated, but I'm really liking the darker look. It's nice too, cause I don't have to, it's fucking freezing. I don't have to bleach my hair, but I'm, I'm fucking cold. Okay, so happy Tuesday. This is gonna be the beginning of a vlog for, what's it called? My, out of my comfort zone. I don't know, I haven't decided if that's really the name of this new theme, but it's similar. It's based off of a few different other people's like videos that they've done where they um, like taste test from Chandler Ainsley is one of the big ones that I can think of where they are reading like someone else. I am reading like Becca and the books this week. Um, I don't think I'm going to like try to vlog specifically like the booktuber because that just seems like a lot of work and very difficult because I don't know, like you, everyone has their own style and I don't think I'm gonna do that. But I do wanna read some of her favorite books. So I'm currently in the middle of this Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. So based on what I've seen of Becca's channel, what I knew was I needed to read a Colleen Hoover, I needed to read a fantasy romance, and I needed to read something of like, uh, I wanted to read something that like is nostalgic for her. And then I also asked her for some help with this uh, TBR. So basically I said, okay, help me pick a Colleen Hoover. I'm gonna read Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton because that's been a book that Becca has been talking about a lot in her latest videos. Um, she like vlogged reading the two and she's also friendly with the author. So I thought that was a good spot for fantasy romance. And then I decided to read Angus Thongs in Full Frontal Snogging because Becca has been recently reading through the whole series and she just recently finished it. Um, so that seemed on par. And then I also asked her like, pick a book, pick one more book for, for me. So I'm in the middle of This Ends With Us, which is the Colleen Hoover book that Becca decided I needed to read. I have like the hiccups. I hate it. That was the Colleen Hoover she decided for me. And then I told her to pick another book and she goes, ooh, you need an adult fantasy in here and you're gonna need to read some Brandon Sanderson. So I have the trilogy of For Mistborn being sent to me. Um, I ordered it on Book Depository because I wanted the specific white covers. So I don't have that yet. And I need to go to the library and pick up Angus Thongs in Full Frontal Snogging still. But I'm excited for that one too because I've read that book before and I really liked it as a kid. And I loved the movie Angus Thongs in Perfect Snogging, which is based on the book when I was younger. I thought it was so fun. So I think I'm gonna really enjoy that reread. I think it'll also be nostalgic for me, even though like it's definitely very British and I don't understand all of the British parts of the humor necessarily. Cause like, that's not the school system that I grew up in, in et cetera. But still like, it's just, I'm excited, but yeah. So anyways, update for right now is that I am about a third of the way into It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and I'm liking it so far. Colleen Hoover, I've read, I've definitely read one of her books and maybe I've read two. I read Maybe Someday, which is a young adult romance by Colleen Hoover. And then I think I've read one more, but I don't remember which one. Um, and I personally think she's overhyped. I just don't tend to find her books like super amazing, but I've also only read one. So maybe I read the wrong one, you know? So we'll see, this one is more adult. The main female character is 23. And then I think our male love interest is a little bit older than that. So perhaps I will find a nice fantasy romance in here. We'll see. I think that this guy is looking at me. So those are my updates for now. Um, one thing that I'm definitely planning on doing, cause you can see my nails right now, they're disgusting 
in my opinion, they're like flaking. And Becca always has beautiful nails. So I'm going to paint my nails sometime this week. Um, and yeah, so hopefully I can get all of these books done this month, this week, not month, this week. Um, Fortuna Sworn is the book I'm going to listen to on audiobook. It's on Hoopla. And then all the other ones I'm going to be reading physically. The only one I am definitely concerned about is the Brandon Sanderson, just because it's, I know it's going to be huge. So, and it's not here yet. So like how long until it gets here? I don't know. But ideally this is going to be a week long vlog, Tuesday to Monday. Um, and we'll see if that works out in our favor. I'm not sure, but yeah, so that's it for now. Perfect timing. This came in the mail today. Let's open it up. Dun 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 dun. Mistborn trilogy. <gasps> there they are. So the goal is to read this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I picked the first one out, which I just realized because this page, there's six in this series. I did not know that, but Final Empire is the first, Mistborn book one. Everyone calls this book Mistborn, even though that's the name of the series. But this is so pretty and it is so big. How many pages is it? 600 and something. 647? Yeah. Okay. so needy today he's been obnoxious actually but they're so cute they're so cute <laughs> looks like a little alien okay so i'm reading Shh. i'm reading this it ends with us by colleen hoover i'm more than halfway through this is intense didn't know it was going to be this intense this book has lots of trigger warnings trigger warnings for um like the lightest touch of a sentence about difficulty getting pregnant um but mainly relationship abuse partner violence inner inner partner violence um both from a 
child's perspective of their parents as well as from the perspective of one of the partners and just a lot of like in the person's head of both of those perspectives so there's that and then there's also trigger warning for gun violence and death of a child slash sibling relationship person um suicidal ideation and plans for suicide um self-harm what else <laughs> so much has happened oh my god uh, i think that that's everything oh like homelessness and like um neglect i guess wow so lots of things um i don't love like the way colleen hoover's like writing style like sentence structure i'm not a huge fan this character the main character is named lily and she's supposed to be 23 and like part of her feels like she's way older than that and part of her feels like she's way younger than that and i think it's the writing style i don't think it's like what she, well part of the reason she feels older is because all the characters in these book in this book is like 23 25 like early to mid 20s and they all like own their own businesses or are almost done with their neurosurgery residency like okay i know that some people can be like that but not everybody is like that so that's part of it um or like own multi-million dollar businesses and shit <laughs> what i don't believe that um yeah okay so yeah i'm i am even though i'm not liking the like literal writing style i am liking the content it's intense and i hit like here and then couldn't stop reading so that's always a good sign for me so i'm reading that and then I also started the audiobook of Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. I'm like maybe 20% in and I just got to a steamy scene and I'm like, whoa, we are going in quick. Oh yeah, this one has explicit sex also. I, I thought it was going to be like surface level. No, no, no. You get all the details. And it seems like that's where Fortuna Sworn is also heading. So lots of sex scenes in the books I'm reading currently. <laughs> Thank you, Becca. <laughs> um yeah so i'm reading that i am like 20 percent in it's an urban fantasy <clears throat> set like where from what i'm understanding i think that the humans don't know about the fantastical like people that exist simultaneously in their world i think is the type of fantasy that this one is um, but i'm very early in i'm loving the magic already of like who fortuna is it's an interesting character it feels um there's other characters that are like her too, but she basically can know all of the surface level fears of people if she touches them. Creepy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm in a way better mood today. <clears throat> I, yesterday, and well, okay, so if you guys are f up to date on my channels, I recently posted a video well, it's probably like last month, I think, by the time this video goes up, but the timeline of when I'm filming this is actually like right at the same time, but I filmed a video about my experience with a chemical pregnancy, and so getting that like out, filmed, talking about it, feeling my feelings, and now it's up to upload, um, it's uploading right now, and it'll be up on Monday, today's Thursday, so I feel a lot better now that that just feels like putting a rounding it out and finishing it up and being able to move on so yeah um I feel a lot better so far this morning at least than I have the last couple days so that's good um so I am going to make some quick breakfast before I have to clock in and I'll talk to you guys later <laughs>
happy friday do you ever accidentally take your vitamins and it like goes down weird and it feels like it's stuck in your throat even though it's not because that's happening to me right now okay good morning so i finished a book i finished this is us or no excuse me it ends with us by colleen hoover <sighs> this book was intense um yeah so this book is about a girl named Lily who's 23 at the start of the book and she meets this guy named Ryle um up like on top of this like in the rooftop area of like their apartment complex um and they have this like really intense like deep conversation on accident when they like initially meet and then they don't meet for a long time and then he pops back up into her life on accident um, about a year later. And then you're also following the past um, experience that Lily had when she was younger, like 15. She met this guy who was 18 um, and he was homeless and she was helping him like survive. That's where this book starts. It is about abuse. I thought it was really well done. Um, I feel like Colleen really put her own history into it. I also read the author's note and yeah, that it's, I recommend reading the author's note um, after it if you're comfortable with the content of abuse and then if not, then reading it maybe before so it can prepare you or don't read it at all if you're not comfortable with the story of physical violence um, and partner abuse. I gave it a four out of five stars. I didn't, like I was saying, like I was saying in the previous clip, um, I didn't love, like I don't love the literal sentence structure writing style that Colleen Hoover has at least in this book I don't know if that's always her case because like I've said I don't read her a whole lot and I definitely haven't read her anytime recently but I just didn't like it it felt it felt weird I don't know so that was my only complaint but the story itself I loved um it's frustrating and like I found myself like nodding shaking my head because you know you don't want Lily to make some of the choices that she does make um but she makes them anyway so it's definitely it has was a frustrating read um and up until the very end you don't really know which way she'll go um and how it'll end so finish that first book of this vlog done. I am also in the middle of um, Fortuna Sworn by KJ Sutton. I think I'm like 25% in. I'm listening to that on audiobook um, and unfortunately for audiobooks these days because I work from home I don't have a whole lot of time to listen so that's unfortunate um, but I am making my way through and then I did just 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 start the Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. So I'm only six pages in. Like I haven't even really started this. And it's a chonk. I mean, it's not that bad. It's 643 pages. So out of all of the big books I've ever read, this is definitely not the largest one. So potentially totally fine. But I do have other books I would like to read this month as well. And it's already the... 12th <laughs> so we're just we're just hoping that we'll get through some things and then i need to go to the library and pick up angus thongs and full frontal snogging that's the last book that i want to read for this um becca's like out of my comfort zone books so i need to go pick that up so i'll probably pick that up today um today or tomorrow we'll see because I do need to run some errands tomorrow too but I am about to start work and I'll update you when I have an update on some reading
be Monday. I have today off. It's very exciting. I'm currently in between filming an episode for the new Girls Who Gab for um, March 1st. So we just finished the episode that'll go up on my on the Girls Who Gab. But I have a guest host because Bailey is on maternity leave because baby Isaiah was born on February 11th. So because of that, I have a guest host today. So I am now waiting for everything to convert and like finish for the recording part that we filmed for Girls Who Gab. And then I'm going to get on to the Zoom again and do her episode for her podcast. So I'm really excited. Her podcast name is Happy Indulgence and she does a lot of like personal development stuff. So for our episode on that's up on the first, which I think this video goes up the same day. So this episode is about um, self-expression on the Girls Who Gab page, Girls Who Gab page, and then on hers, it'll be about self-esteem. So I'm excited about that. And then I also really want to film two videos for this channel, which by this point it'll have already been up. So I'm gonna do two different of the challenges for Valentine's. So I'm gonna do the five best characters video, and then the books that stood the test of time but I need to like brainstorm the answers to those questions so I don't know if I'm going to like finish this and then go run the errands that I need to run because I need to go grocery shopping I also need to eat lunch so maybe I'll eat brainstorm then go grocery shopping then come back and film I don't know I haven't decided yet as far as reading goes I did take a break for Fortuna Sworn because the um best books club zoom is this coming saturday on the 20th so i needed to read mexican gothic for that so i'm already almost halfway through i'm loving it but irrelevant to this becca out of my comfort zone video so i'm not going to talk about it anymore i was really liking fortuna sworn though i'm excited to get back into it once i finish mexican gothic and then i'm still at the very very beginning of the final empire by brandon sanderson so i don't have a whole lot of thoughts there's definitely a lot of characters so i'm still like getting into the zone and then for the last book that I want to read is Angus Thong's in Full Frontal Snogging, which I have not been able to pick up from the library yet because they were closed for President's Day, which is the reason I have today off. So all weekend they've been closed, which is like, I get it because we're closed. That's why I have today off. But also, I'd really like to pick up my book because I know that I'll just finish it really fast. Okay, that's enough for this update. I'm loving my makeup today too. Oh, well, I feel great when I put on eyeliner. Just the wing tip always makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> but I'm going to go back on Zoom because my thing's done. So I'll talk to you guys later. Good evening. Happy Tuesday. I talked to you guys already today. We went to the library together and I got... Wait, did I talk to you earlier today? I don't think I did. <laughs> What am I talking about? I don't know, but I got some books from the library. I finally picked up Angus Snog's, Angus Thong's. I haven't even had an entire glass of wine yet, people. Like, I am drinking some wine. I think I've mentioned in this vlog already that this is like the week following when I posted the video about my chemical pregnancy. So I'm like just over a week past when all of that happened so i'm enjoying some wine because i haven't had any in a while which i just i really like wine so that's something that i'm enjoying anyways not the point of this video okay so angus thongs and full frontal snogging picked this up because it's one of becca's like nostalgic books and i've already mentioned that i've watched the movie and i'm pretty sure i've read it it's way smaller than I remembered and obviously it is like a younger audience so I think this will be really easy to read so I need to decide if I'm going to pick this up now, finish it, and then continue with The Final Empire which is right here. Hedwig is just... I don't know why he decided that this would be comfortable but this is him. He's laying right on the very thick square that's not very big. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. Just living life, I guess. I wanted to tell you that Natasha from My Reading is Odd did a vlog that came up today on the day I'm filming, which is the 17th. 
is so fucking funny. So the majority of the vlog is also just cute. It's her and Jeff being adorable and talking about their anniversary or Valentine's Day, whichever one. Um, and so she's like, she put in a bunch of um, old videos of the two of them. It was cute. But at the beginning and the end, she talks about House of Leaves and how terrible of a book it is. And I cannot stress this enough. I hated that book. And listening to her talk about it validates how much I hated it because I thought maybe I'm just dumb or something and I can't understand this book. But now that she's talking about it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's exactly why I hated it. So thank you to Natasha for making that video. Um, in other news, I am some ways through this. Um, it's super quick, like I just have been at work, so I haven't been able to read a whole lot. Good morning. I'm by this dude who's also doing the same exact thing as me, sitting in our cars for no reason in the middle of a random parking lot. But I am about to go to the optometrist. I have like 15 minutes before it's my appointment, but I got a decaf vanilla latte. This place is so good. It's just like a small coffee shop that's near my house. It's not like um, a chain or anything, but it just tastes different. <laughs> mm. So good. So I'm having that and I'm having a cream cheese bagel. What? No. I'm having a jalapeno cheese bagel with cream cheese. And I just fucking love when they, that's the other thing. Like Starbucks does not do that for you with the cream cheese in it already. They don't do that. It's so much better when they spread it like gets warm anyways not the point of this vlog <laughs> I finished oh I didn't bring it with me but I finished um Angus Thong's Imperfect Snogging last night um mm, so good that book did not age well <laughs> mm. so that book was written in 2000 I think 1999 and then it was like re-copyrighted in 2000, but whatever. 2000, 1999, who cares? Um, and you're following this 14 year old girl named Georgia Nicholson and it's like the confessions of Georgia Nicholson. So it's just like timestamp and then she tells you about her day and like all of her thoughts. And obviously like 14 year olds are dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're 14. I don't mean any disrespect, but like I was dumb when I was 14. I am including myself in this category, but so part of it is just like, I don't enjoy reading that age range anymore, which is fine. Like that's not the book's fault. But on top of that, then you have a lot of things that like this book just hasn't aged well. Like I said, there's a lot of like fat phobic statements. She like makes fun of one of her teachers a lot, not, not to their face, but in her head um, about their weight and like what they look like and stuff and then she's like totally obsessed with the concern of being a lesbian and so she's just like so worried about it and yeah that part was weird and then there's also like kind of an issue of consent on a lot of different sides in this book because there it's called angus thongs and full frontal snogging like it's about making out with a boy for the first time but like, uh, I didn't like some of that either. Um, and like all of that is to say it makes sense for the time it was written and like for everything that Georgia Nicholson says, like I've heard kids say terrible things about people to their face or not to their face while I've been a substitute teacher. Like this isn't that it's unrealistic. It's just that like, I don't know there was no like lesson to be learned in that part of the book um and overall I don't think this book was for a lesson like it's supposed to just be like silly and fun and like I definitely read this in high school and loved it it's not it's not a bad book I don't I don't know I it's just something that if that was written today it would be an issue you know what I mean so I think I'm gonna give it a two and a half stars. I gave it a three on Goodreads because 
part of my lack of enjoyment for myself was literally just the fact that I don't like reading the age category anymore and that's not the book's fault so I did bring it up to three stars for that reason but like for my enjoyment and all of the issues that I had with it two and a half stars um so this is the first book out of the ones that I've read for this vlog that I haven't really liked and even saying I didn't like it there was still points of this book that were very nostalgic to me because like I've said I have read this book and I have watched the movie and I think I might actually watch it this weekend if I have time it depends on like how my how my weekend goes because I do have some stuff I need to do Alrighty, another book done I'm just finished filming so my setup the mess there's always at least a mess but sometimes it's more than that um drinking some tea and i finished fortuna sworn the audiobook so i have one book left to read for this vlog i'm like a fifth of the way into brandon sanderson the final empire but i finished the fortuna sworn so i think i'm gonna give it three stars like it's it's a high three stars but it's a solid three stars like three and a half maybe um yeah it was it was decent solid but definitely wasn't a um fantasy that i would like hype to the max or anything um it does have some sexy scenes in it so that's fun but that never is like the thing that i'm necessarily looking for usually like of course, I do read books that have smut in it, and I do like it sometimes, if it's good. So, for example, anything by Sarah J. Maas. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so this one did have some smut in it. Um, it has the world of Faye. So, we follow a girl named Fortuna Sworn, the name of the book, and she's a nightmare. So, she's, like, one of the types of breeds, like, similar as, like, werewolf, vampire, fae, whatever. She's a nightmare. And nightmares have the ability that when they touch somebody, then they can see their fears and not like their deep, deep, deep fears, but their like nightmares. <laughs> so like being afraid of spiders or something like that, for example. And then they can use them against that person. They can also do the opposite and like take fear away. So following this girl and at the start she um we know that her brother was taken and she doesn't know where he is or anything and so she's been like trying to figure it out and this fae Colith comes and helps get her out of a situation and then he also tells her I know where your brother is so then from there is like really where the plot gets started I'm like I liked it I like fae lore so it was fun being in fairy and like it's always fun to read what different authors will like choose to get rid of in fae lore versus keep and stuff like that um it felt very similar to like the cruel prince in that aspect like of the fae world but our characters are a little bit diff like very different i don't like the romance at all in the cruel prince and I feel like this one was like hard for me to decide if I wanted to root for them. There's also like a, uh, like person that Fortuna like created in her head and she's like in love with, but like, as far as I know, he's not real. <laughs> and then there's also this guy named, I don't know. I don't, I'm so bad with names, especially lately, but there's another guy that she's like having sexual tension with but I just overall like didn't care about any of the sexual tension and I feel like that was really the highlight of the story I feel like it was the the meat I didn't feel like the meat was on the so there's a trial section of the book um so if you're into like a trial like I mean like you have three tasks type of thing I personally also just don't like that type of fantasy because I don't ever feel like there's enough tension because like if it's just our main character going through trials obviously they're going to survive so like I'm not that worried about it it's not stressful whereas if you have like a larger cast of, of characters maybe like 
I'm thinking of, I have uh, The Final Empire in my mind right now because I'm obviously reading it as well. This one has like some sort of heist and we're not, we're just getting started. So like there hasn't been any real concern yet, but we have this huge cast of characters who are going in for a heist and like clearly it's possible that somebody could get hurt or die. But when it's just our main character doing a set of trials, it's like, yeah, she could get hurt, but she's not gonna die because she's our only point of view. <laughs> So I don't know, it's, I don't love that uh, storyline just because I feel like there's not enough like concern or worry. But I did like the characters. I feel like Fortuna Sworn was very, um, she's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Like quick to decide, like, um, headstrong, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Like. I can't think of the word like impatient that's not the right word either but basically she just like goes head full on and doesn't really consider a lot of choices or she like considers a lot of choices and then does something anyway <laughs> I don't know the favorite scene slash most intense and also like definitely stuck with me scene is the one with the leviathan and that's all i'm gonna say because if you've read it then you know what i'm talking about i think it's a leviathan now i'm questioning i think that is what it's called yeah that scene was real fucked up didn't like that one and that i mean you're supposed to not like it i thought it was well done and like really rough like oof, ouch so that was my the most intense scene i don't know I also did really like um, the character that I can't think of his name. They just, it's like important at the end. You know what I'm talking about? I liked him. That's all, that's all I can say because I don't remember what his name is, but I liked him. Um, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. So, okay, we're going. Lastly is The Final Empire. And honestly, I do think I'm going to really love this. I'm already liking it a lot we have a lot of characters so i am not struggling yet but just like trying to get a hold of all of the names and trying to remember all of the different they're like slowly introducing the magic system which is allomancy and it's about metals and there's like eight different common metals plus two fancy metals plus maybe an 11th one i don't know um and so trying to like keep up with how that set of magic works so like yeah all of those rules still trying to get a hold of those and still trying to remember who's who and like who has what magic and stuff but overall we just got introduced to like the main plot which is that they're going to attempt to overthrow the final empire which is like the people in charge and i think i'm gonna really like this i think this is going to be the everything that I wish Six of Crows was because I don't like that book but the plot of it always sounds really great and then I read it and I was like it was just fine it wasn't even it wasn't even good it wasn't solid like Fortuna Sworn it was like why does everyone talk about it but I didn't like the Grisha verse in general I also think that I just don't vibe with Lee Bardugo's writing but that's not what this vlog is about anyways little update we are at the end of part one now so i'm just starting part two that's not where the bookmark is but where the break is that's where i'm at so i'm like about a quarter of the way in i think i'm loving it so far like i said very excited for a heist very excited for the large cast of characters too and i feel like kelsier is one of those character archetypes that I really enjoy where he's like obviously um like can do bad things but usually for good reasons um he reminds me actually a lot of Matt and I have been watching Peaky Blinders for the first time we're like all the way into season five how many seasons are there we're like two seasons away from the end however many that is I think I don't know um, and the main character, Thomas, he feels, Kelsier feels very similar to him, um, being, like, the head of this 
obviously illegal organization um and he does have to make like hard choices and i'm sure that there is murder and things like that involved but overall like he is a very good person and like cares about the well-being of the people that he you know cares about i'm liking it i'm liking it so far i'm very interested to see how this goes i am going very slow because I'm having one of those issues and I hate when I do this, but like when I like a book a lot, if I don't have time to like sit for long periods of time, then I like don't want to pick it up. So I won't pick it up like during my like 10 minute breaks or like things like that because I, I want to make sure that I savor it, which is like, I think a good thing too, but then at the same time, it's making me read it really slow. Um, also just like the size of the book itself is a little bit intimidating, but I mean, I used to read books this long all the time, so I don't know what's happened to my brain, but yeah, I am definitely enjoying it. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll update you, like, hopefully I'll read the rest of it pretty fast. Today's Wednesday, so we have Wednesday, Thursday, whatever wait today's the 24th so we have like four more days after this of february so i definitely am hoping to finish it by the end of february and get this last valentine's day valentine's challenge um done because this book is counting for like four challenges on the bingo board too so i'm really hoping that i'll finish it by then plus i'd really like to get this vlog up by monday the first which means I should really hopefully finish this earlier than that. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and read. And Hedwig just joined us. Ew. Sneezy kid. Okay, bye. editing the this vlog that this is um and it's like ready to go except for these last few clips that I haven't filmed yet obviously and I'm laughing at myself because I was like I really want to finish this vlog in a week I should know myself better than this because it's now March 3rd so I've been reading the Becca books for like three weeks and really it's this one that's taking me so long because it's huge but I'm getting closer and closer. I've been utilizing some reading sprints to read this book after I get off work. And like work has just also been very busy. So yeah, my brain. So I have been reading a lot like at night also, which is good. Like I've definitely been reading almost an hour each night, just like right before bed. So like, don't get me wrong, I am reading, but like I also will say, so Matt and I have been watching Peaky Blinders every night. And there's six, five, five seasons, I think. We just finished the last episode of the last season that's out right now. We know there's at least one more season coming. I'm upset that we caught up because the ending of season five. <sighs> I knew, I knew it wasn't going to go well. Like there's a scene, I'm upset. But now I don't have anything to watch so hopefully I will be getting this done by this weekend like this weekend I want this to be over so I'm really liking this book so far so this book follows Kelsier and Vin are mainly the two uh perspectives we get and then we also have like each chapter is headed by 
some sort of like entry and we don't know who that is at the beginning of the book. I loved the reveal of that. Um, I like Kelsier but I'm like concerned that he is going to end up like accidentally basically corrupting himself and then Vin I love Vin but she's young and so she's kind of dumb <laughs> sorry I feel like every video I just make fun of young people I promise that I also thought I was dumb I also think that I was dumb when I was a kid but yeah she's just she's very optimistic when it comes to certain people and I'm concerned that that's going to bite her in the ass but like maybe she has a maybe maybe she is like going to end up being the good thing you know I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen even like this far in we have had this book is very not I'm trying to like explain the feeling of the book there's not a whole lot of action that happens there is some but not a lot we get a lot of um kind of like politics so we watch people in court and like getting secrets and things like that overall i really like the characters my favorite character i think is um Sazed or sazed i think it's Sazed based on i talked with margaret and she said she listened to the audiobook and it was pronounced Sazed. so we're gonna go with that i really like his character and i'm really intrigued by like basically his species or like his magic i don't know they're they're going through so there's like alamancers and then there's ferumancy some of the words in this book i'm like hmm how do i say it um but yeah so that's my update i'm definitely liking it and definitely like every time i pick it up i want to read a lot of it you know but it's just a tonk <laughs> Okay, hopefully the next clip will be my okay. review of this. We're finishing the vlog. I am so excited. I have indeed finished the last book of my out of my comfort zone vlog for Becca from Becca and the Books. I finished The Final Empire. I'm so glad to end this vlog on such a high note because I fucking loved this. So thank you to Becca for like making me pick this up because... It's been on my list for so long and I have wanted to read it, but one, super intimidated by starting a new series just because, hello, like, <laughs> I'm so bad at finishing them. So I was a little bit nervous. And then also just like all of the hype surrounding Brandon Sanderson in general, like really makes me nervous because what if I don't like him? And that's definitely happened, happened to me in the past. And it didn't help that I had read Elantris and it wasn't my favorite thing. So yeah needless to say though obviously love this so <sighs> i gave it a five out of five stars wow i have so many thoughts but most of them are spoilery so i can't really talk about it but like definitely excited to pick up the sequel which i own when will i get to it though that's the question i need to like work on getting some of the series that i have listed I've talked about before um i need to work on getting some of those series finished before i like really start to delve into this one but i definitely want to pick up the well of ascension like hopefully this year <laughs> it's only march like that's doable right man so fucking good okay so overall i read two five stars i read a two and a half and I read a three and a half, all for Becca. So like that would say to me that we have a decent similar range of books and I can definitely trust Becca's high fantasy suggestions and contemporary selections, which doesn't surprise me at all because that's ten that tends to be where her recommendations are like of interest to me. Um, Becca reads a lot of fantasy romance, which I am just very picky with. So in some ways we are very similar. She's a huge um, Sarah J Mass fan and so am I. So in some ways I do like want to give more fantasy romance that she loves a try. 
but I also with Fortuna Sworn just it wasn't it wasn't there for me so it could have been that that's not the book you know but there is something there contemporary clearly I know Becca loves a good like fucked up hard-hitting contemporary I'm right there with you that is my jam and then clearly with some adult is this technically adult I think it is but and like is it epic I think it is <laughs> I don't really know I don't really know but I mean it's definitely big so yeah so this makes me oh <laughs> I don't even want to say it out loud but this really makes me want to give Robin Hobbs uh ship the ship the big big 16 book series that they've been reading Becca and uh Ashley and Jade I think they've all been reading ships of destiny or whatever that series is called and the fact that I loved this as much as I do makes me think that I will also love that considering how much all of them love that, including Becca. <sighs> I don't want to start that. I don't want <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say it. <laughs> but yes. Okay, so first out of my comfort zone vlog finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I have a couple people in mind for a future out of my comfort zone vlog and I definitely want to repeat that there are plenty of other people who do videos like this so if you're interested I know Jade just posted one called uh, read like read like them or read like it or something like that um, and then Chandler Ainsley has her taste test and I'm, I'm sure that there are others. Those are the two that I can think of. So other people are doing this. I did not create this idea. And if you guys want to do it too, that would be awesome. I love watching videos like this. So yeah, I do have a couple people in mind. But if you have anybody in mind that I should read like or get out of my comfort zone with, or if you think that you would be a fun person to do it, then that would be great. I I just, I'm, I'm excited about this series. So Yes, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and check out my social media, all linked down below. I have new things coming. So my next video is going to be my to be read and it's also going to be announcing all, not all of the challenges, but more details for the Touching My Shelf readathon that's happening at the end of March. So keep an eye out for that. It'll have more things in there. That's a sneak peek. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about the Touching My Shelf readathon. So the TBR for that will be going up later in the month, like on the 20th, I think. So yeah, make sure to hit subscribe if you're interested in all of the things. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new one. I make videos every Saturday and Monday. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Bye.